All right. So somebody text me if it doesn't, uh, if it stops working. So we're in the middle of the sugi of Zen and of Zen Lechosa. Top line, Kofal Hamadav. So Shalach later of Abba, Barzav de Lamari Barav. So he said to Mari Barav, a boy me name Rav Huna. He said to him, go ask Rav Huna, Hadar Bechotza Chavere Shalom Yitai, to Itzarach Lalas to Ischar Eloi. If somebody lives in somebody's chotzer without his knowledge, does he have to pay or not? Adachi Nach Nashi de Rav Huna. Meanwhile, he, Rav Huna was nifter, so he couldn't ask him the shaila. So I'm going to say, Rav Huna, Rav Huna, Rav Huna, Rav Huna, Mori Mishmed de Rav, Ain it Tzarach Lalas to Ischar, you don't have to pay, which is taka the way we pass him. So that's the first thing he said. You don't have to pay. The second thing he said is, He says, somebody who rents a house from Ruvain should pay Shimon rent. Now, what does that mean? Shimon, my what does Shimon have to do with anything? He's renting a house from Ruvain, and he's paying it to Shimon. If you find out that the house really belonged to Shimon, then you have to pay him. Right? Yeah, so Gemara says tarti. You just said a tar- tarti means two. Tarti it means a stira. He first you just said that you pass if you live in somebody's house without his knowledge, you don't have to pay. And then you said that you lived in Shimon's house without Shimon's knowledge, right? And well, you were paying rent to Ruvain, but um, and you have to pay rent to Shimon. So what's the shot? Meaning you live there without Shimon knowing about it. So our answer is a, a pasha to answer. Hada kamila agra, hada loy kamila agra. One is talking about where the guy normally rents out the house, so therefore you have to pay, right? Hada loy kamila agra, and the other house was just sitting empty, right? So there you don't have to pay. Isn't that Itmanami, cheetah? It's, For people, people go to yeah, Miami. it's cheetah. Why does he need an issue of right, stock yeah. in cheetah? I don't know. I don't know. If the Gemara right, went to this before, the oh, then well, that chaser is of course you, you're mechayiv. Like the Gemara says, there's no way that's the shail of the Gemara. So what do you need right, to issue a it's, for? It's, meaning we're saying because it's zen and it's zeh chaser. Correct. So like, what do you need to issue a psak for? Yeah, um, I guess maybe they didn't understand what he was saying. <laughs> so he said something cryptic, but he meant something that was pshita. I'm confused. Could be, yeah. That, that doesn't make. Well, why? Yeah, okay. I don't know. And Okhanami, it's 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 uh, hard to understand what exactly the Havamina was. What are you saying, Rabar? So if you know somebody's going to Miami for two months, you could just move into their house. No, we're pay saying them, them. Pay them? <laughs> if you you can't do it. Bid the Evid, you get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, fine. yeah. B'diyevad, you can't do a lechatchila. This whole we said, we said, yeah, we said that this whole lush, all these lashinas are b'diyevad lashinas. You can't do a lechatchila. Uh-huh. But if okay. you did it, then you're not going to be mechuyev to pay. Well, I mean, Byron, meanwhile, I we have to see lighter. I'm putting an alarm system and cameras. Right? I'm just telling you. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So itmar, and then another similar case. Again, Akiva, Gemara even says two cases. Itmar nami. Omar of Chia Barab and Omar Rav, Ami Lomar of Chia Barab and Omar Rav, Huna, Hador Bechotz of Haver Shalomi Taito, and it's Arach Lalas and Schar. If you live there, you don't have to pay, right? Vasoicher Bias Mibne Ha'ir, but if you rent from the city, I guess from the municipality, Mila Schar Le Bailem, you have to pay Schar to whoever owns it. So when it says Bailem Maya Vidutayo, what does the Bailem have to do with it here if, it's, if you're renting it from the city? I'm not exactly sure what the scenario is here. Here, but he's really renting from the city. He's giving it to the Bailam. I don't know, but whatever it is, he's saying, "What is he, he rent? You paying the city? You paying the owners?" If the if meaning the city, it was like uh, what do you call it? Abandoned property. So the city took it over. Then if they find out who the owner is, then you got to pay the owner, right? So again, they ask Tarti. You first, you just got finished saying you don't have to pay the owner if you didn't know about it. And here you're saying if you find out who the owners, you do have to pay it. So again, the same terrace. Hot the Kamila Agra, hot the Loi Kamila Agra. What is somewhere where it was there for rent and what is somewhere where it was not for rent? Yeah, where they, it's not for rent, you don't have to pay. Like, again, for the Evid. Yeah. Yeah, they bring down from the rush. The rush quotes the read to say that the reason why they said it in such a lushen is because even if Shimon, um, even if he contracted a smaller amount to rent, but but at them it's worth a lot more. 
the din is he has to pay the full amount, and he can't say, "Well, I would have to pay more." Yeah, you know, so that's why that's why it was said in such a lesson that is a chiddush. Yeah, but it doesn't. He, yeah, but that's still the whole concept is not a chiddush. That yeah, just helps it why it's such because a weird Hannah's case. Because Hannah's not to the full degree. That's a chiddush in the din Zena Hannah. I wasn't Nana. I wouldn't have paid this much money. I would have paid that much money. It's not yeah, as not much so sure Nana as we would have we thought. I hear. Yeah, hey, but it doesn't really. I mean, the whole concept is. Yeah. I hear. But there's a Shiloh like this, and this comes up. If you go to a hotel and they say it's double occupancy and you put in five people, you allowed to or not? I mean, you're renting it anyways. You're paying the rent, but they charge extra for more occupants. So then you're not paying the rent. Yeah. Right, but it's not meaning the guy's not losing anything because you're paying for that room. It's not like you're getting no, an extra. You're, you're, Jacob, you're about to kill a Kalamite everywhere. He's a, you're not <laughs> paying the rent. He wants for five guys. He wants five hundred dollars. He does. He doesn't want two hundred dollars. He wants five hundred dollars. You're not paying the rent. He wants. It costs them more water, more all that. It costs them. Okay, that's a fair. That's fair. The water definitely costs. I don't know what a hey, water is a good point. I don't know. It's not your business what it costs. Is everybody eating he's breakfast? Charging for, he's charging X amount. What, you're not paying him what he's charging. What do you mean? You're not two yeah, people. So the you're five is, people. No? Right. But it's, but it's a little different because it's not like you're taking a room from him that he normally rents. The, the house is rented out. Finished. Right. Let's say the guy doesn't take a shower. Right? right, Yoni. Let's say the guy doesn't take a shower; he doesn't flush the toilet. So <laughs> well, now what? It's... Right. <laughs> right. So it's it's, no, it's loy yeah, To Aaron, to Aaron's point, he's charging an amount. You're not paying him. You go uh, to a store; uh, they want a hundred dollars for something. You only give them eighty dollars. Is that allowed? No, but it's different because it's loy chaser. Meaning, if if see, Elio, you have your Airbnb, right? So. If I rent your Airbnb, you're not renting it out to anybody else. There's no there's no chaser there. It was rented out by me with my two people. Right? Now I put in five people. It's definitely Zen and Evazel Chaser. Well, no, but I so I would say with my with my situation, I would tell you something that happens often is that I say there's not you're not allowed to have parties. So someone will come along and they'll say, Oh, we'll have a party, Zen and Evazel Chaser. He won't know that I have a party. The cleaners that come the next day know that you had a party. They charge me more for cleaning. Right. So that's no. That's Zen and Zechoser. That's Zechoser. We're not. We're talking about all things being equal, right? Do you have to the pay part, extra the, now? Part, the, part, part, of, of, part of what owning something is you can do what you want with what you own. That's part of the buy list. Yeah. Right. So he wants five hundred dollars for five people. It's not. It's none of your business. You you know oh he's breaking even at two that two people the two hundred dollars is fine for him no it's not fine for him he wanted five hundred dollars mask him mask him you so you're not the bala boss of his property he's the bala right. boss of his property a hundred percent so look at the good so the bidi the look at chile you can't do it the police can say you talk you can't do it right you can't do it you can't stuff them in there right the question is bidi ever you did it already. Now, did you get away with it or not? Is that considered Zen and Evazel So Yoni's right. If you use water, you One second. We're water. talking about it. Used you, extra you electricity. Rent you rent the hotel room. It's a two Correct. People. That's people what we're talking five about. People in. Right. People have five people in there. We're not allowed to do yeah, that. Yeah, but you have to. No, it depends on the rules. Yeah. Some hotels have no problem with it. Other hotels do have a problem with it. We don't ask. It, That's a different question. Are you a contract? You sign the paper. It says occupancy two people. No, some of them Taka don't care, and some do care, right? I don't know, but if got, the Shaila is in a Bittyevit situation, it's Lachayra Zen and Evazel Lachaser, assuming that the extra guests don't use up anything, right? Okay, whatever. This is an interesting Shaila that, that does come up. You certainly Lachatchila can't do it, right? What what's a bidi evid? You can just give him the money. What 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 would be considered a bidi evid? Bidi evid, yo, I see that your house is empty one night. I come and I well, 
for you, no, you rent it out. So that's so that's that's chasta. But uh, I come, I see that you're in New York, so I go to your house that you don't rent out, and I stay there, right? The Gemara is paskling your pot. We I don't have to pay you, right? But that that's called a bidi evit, or that's just called stealing. No, it's bidi evit. Listen, you're not allowed to do a lechatchila bidi evit. You're not allowed to, you have to pay. You are asking it's now like, is there a punishment? I have no idea. Is this like a pater avalaser? I have no idea. You're not mechuyiv. Yeah, it's a similar concept. Yes, it's a similar concept. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, but unfortunately, the world thinks, oh, yeah, and then they just take things from people. It's not It's not true. You can't, you can't do it. What about it? That's another one. Can you use a guy safer in Bismedrish? Without permission? Right? So there, there's a, a different concern. We're afraid that you might rip it, which which I don't understand. Then, because then why? I mean, that's a lechatchila. But the evid lechari, you don't so have to. Yeah, but the gemara later it. on. That what? The gemara later on about using a safer tire, using svarim. Is it gemara? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you might rip your, it. Yeah, in your mother's house, there's a art scroll gemara, and it's got a na guy's name in it, and it says Aser Beli Rishus, even if you're my mother. <laughs> so that that's a <laughs> so the question is if you use that guy's gemara and you don't ruin it are you mechuyiv to pay I think you push it don't have to the shaila is lechatchila can you do it right anyways okay whatever those are, those are the shailas fine Amar Rav Schayra yeah now we're about uh, fifteen lines down Amar Rav Schayra Amar Rav Huna Amar Rav you don't have to give him schar. Now, now we get into some reasons why maybe you don't have to give him schar. Because it says, It's a pasuk in Yeshaya. And it says, With emptiness, the gate is going to be hit. Right? So what does that mean? Meaning, when you have an empty house, it's going to be hit up with, with uh, shadim. MMA by you staying in the guy's house when he's in New York or whatever it is or in Florida, then you're gonna make it that the Shadim don't destroy his house. I saw them. He says, Kitura, and they these Shadim are goring the house as Mamash like a like a shar. I always wondered this, right? Because how many of us work on the outside of our house? When's the last time we did work on the outside of your house? Right? So then it should start looking in shambles. Meaning, sometimes when you look at a house and it just starts falling apart on the outside, right? Because nobody's been living in there. But, I ha but I'm living in my house for 20 years. I haven't done anything to the outside. So how come it's not falling apart? I I'm not saying this is the deepest child in the world. But I always wondered, like, what makes an abandoned house look abandoned? Could it? Uh, obviously, if the lawn is not mowed, so it looks abandoned. But for whatever reason, the house starts falling apart. Why? I'm living in my house. I haven't done anything to the outside of my house in 20 years. Why is it not falling apart? LMI, don't, we could say maybe because of the shade. Am I being crazy? Hashem loves you. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Um, but I'm just wondering if if it's the shade that it's that just do that. Right, yeah. So that's one reason. Um, I'm going to say you have the shmir from the mailbox. Maybe, maybe, but okay, <laughs> maybe. Um, you're right, because the upstate house, my mother's. <laughs> so I don't know. Rabbi Yosef Amar Beisa Meisva Yosef. Rabbi Yosef is a different reason. When you when you maintain it, right? So since you maintain it, so Mamela, it's not going to fall down or get broken. So therefore, you're okay. Therefore, you're doing the guy a service by staying in his house. Okay, my benai. What's the practical difference between the two sheets? You can be to come a The nafkamin is if you put in wood and straw into the house. So if you're storing things in there, that's enough to keep the shadim away. But if it's not for shadim, right? If it's not for if 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 it's for maintenance, keeping straw and wood in the guy's house is not going to maintain anything. 
Okay, so that's so that's a, that's those are reasons why maybe you don't have to pay rent. It was a guy who built a large house, a mansion, on Kilkalta the Yasmi, on a junky, junky land. Rashi says it's an ashpa, it's a dump of Yasmin. And Rav Nachman gathered it from him, meaning he, uh, what do you call it? He repossessed it. So because this guy built a house in the land in the yard that belonged to the Yisaimim, and and uh, and Rav Nachman took it from him. So it must be holds that you have to pay. So my answer is a hume kara karmenoi diary bay. In the beginning, there were these karmenoi, right? Some sort of country, some nation called Karmanoi. They would they were paying the assignment a small amount of rent. Amalei, so he told this guy who built the house on the land that belonged to the assignment, Zil Paisinul Yasmi, go be Mephias the assignment, give them some money, give them what they're supposed to get. But like Ashkuch, and he didn't listen. So Agbir I'm not well off done him so that's why he took it away. Meaning this wasn't as a loy chaser situation. This was a Chaser situation. So, Mamela, since it was a Chaser situation, that's why he collected it from him. Okay, end of the sugya of Zen and of his Eloi Chaser. Fine, now we go back to the Mishnah. And Kedar, 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 when, when whenever the, the Gemara quotes, Ketan Meshalemes Mashanenes Vichulu, it doesn't mean it's going on that part, it's going on the next part of the Mishnah, which is we said that if when we said that if she's not high of damages, but she benefits, meaning she, the animal, benefits from the, I don't know why he uses a lush in the cave, Taka, but uh, anyways, when she or the animal benefits from the food, then you have to pay. You have to pay what the benefit was for the animal, right? So that the, so then, then the Mishnah says, well, it depends where the food was that the animal ate, right? If it was in the middle of the, of the street, then you pay how much you took, you got Hano, how much the animal got Hano from it. But if it's in the Tzidei Rishu Sarabim, it's on the sides, then you have to pay regular, regular damage. Right? Because um, it's it's in the in the street, what's your fruit doing in the street? So mainly the, 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 the animal that ate it, it's not, is not liable. But if it's on the side of the street, so you're entitled to keep your fruit there. The guy should have watched his animal. Right? So again, there's a difference between paying damages and paying for what you benefited from. In the middle of the street, you pay the damages, and I'm sorry, you pay what you benefited, and if, if the fruit was on the side, then you pay you pay what you um, uh, excuse me, you pay the damages. So we have a machlaikas. I'm a rav, machzeres. Right? When do you pay the damages? Right? From, uh, when it eats on the side, that's if it turned its head. It turned its head. So Mamela, since it turned its head, so um, then you have to pay because why is your animal? Why are you letting your animal turn it turn the head to eat the fruits that are on the side of the street? Right? You have guys on with selling fruit on the stands on the side of the street. Control your animal, right? To make sure it doesn't eat from there. That's that is a machlaikis, and there's there's a Rashi here, there's Rashi on the rift, which says it's well, what are you chayev here? Karen? Right? Or is it Shane? Okay, but that's a different thing. So Rav says somewhere would have turned to said Shmuel Amar Fila Maseras Nami Pot. Shmuel said, even if it turns its head, you still potter from damages. You still put them from paying damages. You still have, you have to pay what you benefited. You yeah, don't have to, so Shmuel's saying that when the animal turns its head to eat the fruit. Uh, one second. So then what's the case? What's the case that he would be chayev from eating a tzidr of Shusaram? So Gamar answer is going to Shavak to L'Ruchav of Azza Vakam of a tzidr of It's somewhere where it left the middle of the street and it went and it stood on the side of the street. Then if the animal actually picked itself up and moved to the side of the street, then you have to pay full damages because don't let your animal do that. But if all the animal did was turn its head and eat the fruit, then you're not you're not chayef. You chayef to pay hano, but you're not chayef to pay anything else. What are you saying, Akiva? Is this similar to what we said before? You kick a rock from Rosh Hashanah to Rosh Hashanah because it came from Rosh Hashanah to Rosh Hashanah. 
That whole shadow we had with Gabi Tzreiris when it came to kicking a rock for Mrs. Rabin to Shasi Yachid. Yechai or not? Um, because where you are, where you kicked it from is Rosh Hashanah. Where your R is Rosh Hashanah, but it, it ended up in Rosh Hashanah. Or is this a shy of how we look at TD Rosh Hashanah? Because Rosh Hashanah yeah. because you're, it's because you're standing in Rosh Hashanah. It has nothing it could to do be with the that fact that a... you should have just expected that. It, yeah, it could be I saw somebody say something like that, but I, I don't, I push it, I don't remember now. Okay. Um, I don't know, I don't know. I, yeah, okay. Um, I, I don't remember. It could be right, it could be right. Anyways, okay, weiter. So that's one version. So this, the way we learned it now is the Machloik is in the Gemara. There are those that learn it, it by itself. Machzeres, if an animal turned its head to the side of Shusha Rav, and Rav Amar Chayeves, Rav says Chayev, and Shmuel Amar Petura, and Shmuel says it's Potter. So Gemara asks, so Shmuel, Meshulem is Masha Zika, Hechim Ishkach is on the Machayev. So if Shmuel holds that you're Potter, so then when are you going to ever find a case where an animal eats something on the side of Shusha Rav, and it's Chayev? So Gemara answers, it's going to Shavka Lir Chava, but also become a Petit Lir Chava, right? Same, same Gemara, just a different version. It's talking about where it's it left the uh, it left the middle of the street and it went and stood on the side of the street. So Masa Rav Nachman Rav Yitzchak Rav Nachman Rav Yitzchak has the kasha on Rav. Right. So the Mishnah says that if the animal ate from the doorway of the store, then he pays what he was nene. Now, what's the case? Again, the animal went and stuck its head into the door of the store and ate fruit. And the Mishnah says he only has to pay what he benefited from, not the damage. So, how do you find that case? It's got to be told about where it turns its head. Because if the animal actually went into the store, then of course you're high enough to pay the full the full damage. So, it must be the only other way to do it is to save Pshat as if it turned its head. So, Mashanenes in Mashazikaloi, but only Mashanenes, not where it damage. But according to Rav, Turning its head, you should be high of damages. So Gamar answers, who might have law, Rav Nachmarito asked the Shaila, who Mafagli answered his own Shaila. The Kaim of Karen Zavis. If you see the Rashi, Rashi has a has a little uh, map. It's talking about where it was a Karen Zavis, meaning there was a the street got sort of like you know Mayor Sharam, right? When Mayor Sharam gets thinner, it gets, you know, it's wide after Gaula, right? As you're going down then it gets thinner. So if a guy had a store right there on the corner, which there is, I don't know if he puts his stuff outside, so then the animal's walking straight, it walks right into it. So in that case, then according to Rav, you'd be hired to pay full, full uh, damages. Right? Even though really there, there's nobody wrong. There's nobody really wrong. Right? Um... Meaning you don't have to, so that's meaning you don't have to pay the damages because the animal is just walking straight, but you do have to pay what the benefits were. Ikadamri, another version of this whole Gemara, Machzeres, not another version, a different shot, but really the opposite. Machzeres, if it turned its head, everybody holds that you chayiv. If an animal turns its head and eats the fruit, everybody holds you chayiv. Keep pligim and mixes makam rishusa the makta makam rishusa rishusaram. It's talking about where. The person, and Racham mentioned something like this last night, it's talking about where the person gave some of his property to the Rishus Rabbim, meaning his, his property went right up to the Rishus HaYochid, to the Rabbim, so he pulled in his Rishus HaYochid and he donated it to the Rishus HaRabbim, right? And this is what it was saying. This, we said that you're only have to, you only have to pay the amount of that you damage when it turns its head. Well, maxim makam rishus rishus aramim petura. Then, but if it's talking about where the person kept the fruit in the area that he donated to the public, then it's potter. Shmuel Amar afilu mixes makam rishus rishus aramim chayiv. Shmuel says it's chayiv. Okay, so that's so again, it's total different machloikis. It's totally in where the guy moved his. 
he donated some of his property to Rosh Hashanah and he left his fruits there and then it got eaten. So is the guy responsible for this or not? So what's the machloikas tali? And so the says, Lema bebar kamifli. Let's say that it's the same machloikas that's tali in a bar b'rishusai. What's a bar b'rishusai? So that's if a guy digs a bar on his property and then his mafka is property. Right? And Mamela became, became part of Rosh Hashanah. And then somebody fell in. Is the guy chayiv now or not? So we're going to say that that machlaikis is the same machlaikis as this. So Rav, the Omar, Potter. Rav, who says here that the animal is Potter, Kasavar, Barber, Shusay, Chayev. He must hold that the guy who digs a bar and then his mafkar is a Shus, he must hold that it's Chayev. Right? So, um, Mela, when this guy puts his fruits there, is so then he he is putting, he's making a bar in his own Rishus, that he then went and donated it to Rishus Zerabim, right? So Mamela, so Mamela, these fruits are considered a bar, right? And and if you hold that it's potter, so then you don't have to, um, if you, I'm sorry, if you hold that the bar would be chayev, so then it's this guy's responsibility, and you decided to put your fruit there, so okay, so then he's not, he doesn't have to pay for it. And Shmuel says the opposite. Shmuel Damar Chayev. Shmuel says that you'd be Shmuel that says Chayev on the fruit because he cuts over Barber Shusai. It's Potter. He's Potter because it was his Rishos. He could have done whatever he wanted, even though it became part of Shusarab. And here, he could do whatever he wants. So you make sure that your animal doesn't go over there and eat the fruit. Fine. So that's what we say that the Machlaikis is totally Zebaz. Eh? So Malach Rav, Loyal Maymalach, Antome Bez now. Really, I'll tell you, Baalma, Bar, Rishusai, Potter. Everybody holds that the bar, if a guy digs a bar in his Rishus and then he donates it or he's mafkarid, it's Potter. Right? It's only the only time you have on a bar is in Rishus Arava. Shani Hacha, the Amar, Lav Kol Kaminach. Right here, this case is different because the Amar, the guy that owns the animal, is going to say, Lav Kol Kaminach, the Makarevis, the Peroy, the Rishus Arava, the Chayvis, the Turai. What do you mean? You're donating some of your land to Rosh Hashanah. Very nice. Why are you putting then? Why are you putting your fruit there so close to Rosh Hashanah, like that, where animals are just going to eat it? Don't do that. So Mamela, you would still say that uh, you put Shmuel Amar Ba Alma Bar Rosh Hashanah Chayiv. Shmuel would really say you would be Chayiv on the bar. The Mishlam Bar Ikul Meimer Lava Tatoi. A guy could say the animal is walking around in this guy's property. Why should he think that there's a bar there? But Paris, do you say that it's not as das? You could see the fruit. So if you see the fruit, you should have been aware. Make sure you keep your your uh, animal away from it. You didn't, so then you chayef. Fine. Okay, so it's not, we say the machloik is not totally zebazet. Then the word says, So we have this, this, this machloik is a machzeres, is a machloik is rav and shul. Right? So why don't we say, it's a machloikis tanoim the tanya, and it seems like this is the exact same machloikis. Oh, let me tell you, Chava. If the animal eats fruit from the middle of the street, Mishalem is machanenis, it pays what it benefited from. Mitzidei Chava, but it takes it from the side of the street. Mishalem is machazika, it pays what it damaged. Tivi Rameyer, Rabbi Yehuda, that's that's Rameyer and Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Lazar, Rameyer, ain't darka lechol el alalach. The derech is not to eat; it's to go. Right. So now, what does this mean? Ain't dark So therefore, what? Potter or chayim? Right. So it sounds like. Um, it sounds like you should be chayim, right? So that's what the Tanakama said. So really, it must be Must be turning the head is the difference. Tanakama over machzeres nami mishalem mashenenes. Even when it turns its head, it it uh, it's it pays only what it benefited from. It pays what it damaged, right? It pays what it damaged because it's it didn't have a right to turn its head. So that's the machloikas. So it seems to be the machloikas. Rav and Shmuel is the beferish of machloikas tanoim. So we say no. Loy lekuli alma machzeres ikarav ikashmuel. Everybody holds. 
either like Rav or like Shmuel. We're arguing in the Pasuk when it says, by Shane and Regal, right? It says, Bir Acher, right? We had it many times. You have to do the destruction in somebody else's field, right? It has to be specifically in a guy's field, but not in Rishus Rabbim. Just means it can't be in the Rishus of the Mazik. But if it does damage of Shane and Regal in the Rishus Harabim, then you'd be Chayev. So they're saying a big Chumra. They're saying a big Chumra. That's what the Machloik is telling So what I ask, Rishus Hamazik, you need a Pasuk to tell you that if the animal does damage in the Mazik's Rishus, your the Mazik is Potter? It's Potter. Why, you, why is your animal? Coming into my rishus, so why are you putting your stuff into my rishus? Right? Amazik, Lema, Lema, Percha, what is your fruit? Perach, my rishusi, my boy. You're coming to tie on me that you brought your fruit into my ana, into my property, and my animal ate your fruit. Well, who asked you to put your fruit in my in my property? So you need a pasuk to tell you that. So the Gemara slugs that up and says it can't be that Bir Bistei Acher is coming to exclude. Given Ayu, the difference between this Machloikas Tanoim is again, it's not Rav and Shmuel whether it turns its head. The difference between them is the case of Ilfa and Rabashia from yesterday's daf, where an animal goes and jumps on top of the animal that's next to it. Right? Either it jumped or it ate right off the animal's back. Yeah? So Rabbi Yaisi and Rabbi Lazar say, um, it's not the derech to eat off another animal's back. Right? So therefore you have to pay the damage. The other one, the other mandama, who was it? Uh, Rabbi Yossi Rabbi Laza, say you, I'm sorry, Rabbi Rabbi Yehuda say you do have to. Right? Okay. So we don't, bottom line is we don't have a machloik tanoim. We have a machloik zameroim, where the turning your head is going to be machayev, the animal to pay damages or pay its, pay just what it benefited. And then we have this other machloikis over whether an animal that jumps on an animal or sticks its head into somebody else's thing, if that's going to if that's going to work. Yeah. Okay. Talk to Mishnah now. Yeah, but the two different uh, gidi, shagak. So you have a dog or a goat and it jumped off the roof. All right. And when it jumped off the roof, it broke some kalim. So Mashalim Nezek Shalim. So the owner of the animals has to pay Nezek Shalim. Why? Because they are muad, right? I mean, it's a muad. It's it's a told of regal, right? It jumps off a roof. It damages it damages utensils. So you gotta pay Nezek Shalim. A kelev, then a kelev should not all you have a kelev that took. A, a harara is we had did we have this already yeah we did right it took a harara meaning it took a a piece of cake that had coals on it and it went to a to a pile of grain um harara then it ate the harara and then hid the hid the gagodish and lit up the the pile of grain. So did two things wrong down the the goddish. So Allah Kharara Mashalik Nezik Shalim. On the cake he pays Nezik Shalim. Why? Because that's Shane and Rishusan Nizik Rashi says he did he ate something in the Nizik's property. And on a goddish he pays only Chatsi Nezik. Right? Now we have to see why um that's tomorrow's daf as a shem why why he pays only Chatsi. Again so the mission is saying two things. If an animal jumps off a roof, that's a muid and it damages things. You got to pay. The owner of the animal has to pay. And then the second case, if a dog takes a hot coal of, of meaning food and eats it and also burns down a pile of grain, you have nezek sholem on the cake and you have to pay chazi nezek on the grain. So Gemara says, time of the kovtsu. The reason why you chayim is because the animal jumped off the roof. But not flu, but I'll say it fell potter. If you were a Peshea, because you let your animal run around the roof, so you're a Peshea means you were really wrong. But it end, didn't end up jumping off, which you would have been Chaya for. It ended up just falling off, which was a mistake. 
So it's Tchilasei Pepshia, you were irresponsible, but it ended up being that it was an Aynas, your Pater, right? Because the Mishnah says only if it jumped off. If you'd be Chayev, even if it fell off, so then it would have said Chayev. Chayev for that, would, that's a bigger Chiddush. So it didn't say that. Must be that only if it jumped off, not if it fell off. So Tani Nami Hachi HaKelev HaGedi Shekatsu Mirosh HaGag B'Shavro HaKelev Kelev HaGedi that jumped off a roof and it broke Kelev HaShalem Nezek Shalem it pays Nezek Shalem Noflu Peturin Right? But if it fell they're Potter Right? Because we're holding Tchilas HaBepshia V'Sai V'Ainas is Potter Right? So the Gemara asks Honey Kelev HaMadam Tchilas HaBepshia V'Sai V'Ainas Potter that's all good according to that opinion. But according to the what are you going to say? So what answer is to go into Makarve Kalim Lagavi Kosa. We're talking about where the owner put the Kalim right next to the wall. Right? When you jump away, when you jump off a roof. Then it's you. You're not going to fall right against the wall. I mean, if you fall off the roof, you're going to fall right next to the wall. If you jump off the roof, your lechayra will have a lot of space, right? So, there wasn't a pshia here either. Why? Because the guy saw the utensils next to the roof. So, what is he worried about? This animal is going to jump off. He's not going to hit those kalim anyways. So Mamela wasn't even a Tchilasai Bipshia. But if the Kalim were far away from the roof, then it would be Tchilasai Bipshia. Right? Amar Rav Zvid Mishmei the Rav Apamim Afshafilu Naflu Namichayev. Sometimes, even if it fell, you're going to be Chayev. Why? Mishkach Asla? Because of Ruva. It's talking about where there's a bad wall. Meaning, if you let the, the, uh, uh, if you let your animals on top of a roof that the wall is very Shvach, Right then, even if it falls, it's a problem. My new, what what's uh, what are you saying? What's a pshat? The boiler lasuki died to nafal arching that he should have thought about that the uh, bricks will fall off. Soif soif like nafal arching for nafal inu. But the bottom line is the problem with the wall didn't happen. The bricks there was a bad wall. Fine. So you were irresponsible to let your animals out there. But the bottom line is the way the bricks is not is not what happened. The animal fell off. again. So that can't be the case. We say like We're talking about not in a koisel, not in a wall that's shvach. We're talking about a wall that's very thin, right? So Mamela, since it was very thin, he should have known that it's gonna either fall off or something bad is going to happen. So it's not Tchilasai. Okay, Tana Rabbanon, Hakelev HaGadish Adolgu. So if you have a goat and a dog that jumped, so now it depends. If they jumped and they did damage when they were jumping from something low to something high, Petura in their potter. If it goes from the top to the bottom, then they're Chayev. Right? Because that's normal. Right? So it's regal. Meaning to go from top to bottom that they don't normally do. So Mamela, it's um it's Karen. But from top to bottom, it's normal and it's regular. All Shadolga, what about a person and a chicken that jump? So Lamata, Lamata Lamala, Chayovin, they are Chayev. Right? Because that's normal. Antomid Aleph. Oh, Vatanya Akelava Gdi Shadolgu. If you have a dog and a goat that jump, now there's a whole girsa issue here because some say chayovin, right? But uh, but let's go with the pasha the reading. So it's, you said before that it's potter. I mean, it's it depends which way they're jumping. Here it says if it, it doesn't make a difference which way is potter. So it's talking about where. The animals did the opposite of what they're supposed to. Kalba Beskira, the dog jumped, and with and a goat normally jumps, and a dog just climbs up, right? So the dog jumped, and Gyadja Basricha and the goat sort of crawled up. So Mamela, they did it in the opposite way, that's why they're putter. But if they would do it, um, in the normal way, say, Bichai, see, Yachi, am I so then why are they putter? 
meaning meaning why are they potter legamri? They should be if they did it in an abnormal way, it should be karen. Right? So Gemara answers potter min ezek shalom v'chayim min ezek chayim nezek yes and achanami. It's potter from nezek shalom, and it's chayiv in chatzi nezek. Okay, we will stop here. Tomorrow's daf is not that long. If whatever we can't finish it, we'll finish it. But to Shabbos, okay. Let's say uh, let's say for Hey, Gimel, yeah. Hey, Shem is my loss off. Elim al damilach, al techrash, al tishkoid el. Kihi ne o yevecha, yemayun, mesanecha no surais, alam chayari musari is yats or altsunecha. Amiru. The chuber and akhide migoi vile is a shemi soil oit. He knows to lay yafta valacha brisi chrais. I lay adam vishmaelim, my yove agrim. Kvalva amain va malek peleshes in Yashvetzar, gam asher nilva imam hoyus royal of Nailite Sella. A selam kimidion, kisistro, kiyovim benachakishan. Nishmudu vendor hoyodam in la dama. She seemed in the vehement kaire vichzev, huzeva, some mono comes to him, sher omru. Near Shalano is noisalim, a lay high. She seemed a galgal kikash lufne ruach, keish tevar yar, uchleohova, to lahe tarim. Can't dare the famous Arecho with Sufasco Sivalem. Malef name calling Vivaksha Shimcha de Noi. Yversu Bolo Adea, Viachbru, Yavedu, Yedu, Kiata Shimcha de Nelo Vadejo, El Yoyna call her orders. A Hinoko Bessie Sol and Sulva Sol of Shilly, I'm the main vein by young vein by Bosham, Mokim Rahim Alayim. Yet same it's all the Rocha may fail the lawyer of Mashibi the Gula. Ashtava Gula was my career in a mar or main. Um, all right, parrots, how's your turkey coming along? Go eat, go eat, go inside, go eat. Hot those hamburgers, huh? Give out, yeah, have it on my front on the grass. What? How long are you gonna take it, parrots? It's still going, we just put it in now. Is, uh, okay. Yeah. You avocado got the, what do you oil. call it? Hitaka brought avocado oil? Yep. I saw that video had to come over. So come over, go eat, go eat. No, 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 Tons of food. No, no. Tons. Ivaldic, Tiago. <laughs> avocado oil. I'm obviously felt like see it gets looked by the uh locker. <laughs> we need to add more oil. Did you start dancing, Paris? Well, you know, we started I mean, giving how, out. So <laughs> how much oil, start... did, how many bottles did you buy? So I bought, uh, I didn't need that many. I only needed seven or eight, two liters. In the end, I used um, eight. So 16 liters. But what? You, you did eight French fries or, or not yet? What? You did French fries or not yet? No, no, no. I would have killed the oil with French fries. What did you put in the... What you, what you filled up the fryer? Yeah. With avocado oil? Yep. What did you fry? A turkey. Uh-huh. <laughs> very, very expensive turkey. That's all I could say. Save me Why a piece. Avocado oil? Save me a piece. Why avocado oil? Right. Hey. Because they the, the guy who's sponsoring it said it's healthier. Uh-huh. No. Paris, the one I smoked came out unbelievable. Yeah, if you do it right, it's good. I put one of my thermometers in and it tells me an error now. So uh, yeah, I mean, it came out unbelievable. I, I, I made myself flesh eggs at ten thirty in the morning. What you're having a turkey dinner also? I'm having a Jewish turkey, yeah, which is, if I got 